All right, YouTube. Got another two pill just wrapped up. Going on eBay. Something a little bit different about this one, though. Got those new HG transistors everybody's been seeing. Picked up a few of these to try out and see how they do, and to be honest, they're working great. They're running right there with the Toshiba. <clears throat> As far as reliability goes, I'm not too sure. Like I said, it's the first one I've done, so. It's got a nice flat input tune. Left the trimmer in it. So you can take your screwdriver and change the tune if you want. I wouldn't do that. Leave that be. Don't touch that. Touching that is not going to make the amp work any better. It's just going to give you a reflect. Well, there you go, the new HGs. We're going to throw it on the bird and see what happens. Okay. Going to be working on a 500 watt slug. Going to be reading the middle scale. One, two, three, four, five. That's what we're looking at. Five being 500. Ten being 100. 500 watt slug. Amps off. Demonstrator drive. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. 40 bird. This is an average power. This is not in peak reading. That is average power. So we're throwing about 70, 80 peak watts into this two pill. Flip it on. Variable's wide open. Throwing a little bit over 50 watt dead key. Hello, audio. Hello, yeah, ain't no doubt about it. Those HGs are doing their job. Hello, audio. Amp's doing awesome. Very happy with these. Very happy with these. Turned out great. It's got a low input reflection. The man, it shows it. Hello, audio. Go ahead and dial our dead key down. See what it does. Hello, audio. Look at that. 250 bird from nothing. It's running great, fellas. Not even getting warm. Man, I think these are going to work out good. Anywho, there you have it. Whoever gets it, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you. Bye.